I just demoed that whole side of my deck and uh, forgot to press record. Welcome to the Sam Show. Hey friends, it is Sam and today we're gonna start my deck makeover and I'm sounding way more enthusiastic about it than I actually am because I feel like if I convince myself this is gonna be fun, it's gonna be fun. Let's be real, just like I swore I would never buy a Cape Cod style home because I grew up in one, I also swore I'd never refinish a deck ever again after refinishing my grandparents' deck two years ago because that was a job. But here's the thing, I learned a lot on that deck makeover project and I'm not gonna make the same mistake twice on this one because we don't make mistakes twice on this channel. No, let's be real, we make a lot of mistakes lots of times on this channel, but who's counting anyway? It's about to get super hot out this weekend, so I'm trying to get started on this very early. So that being said, let's get started. This project is sponsored by my awesome friends at the Home Depot Rental. All right, so quick disclaimer before we jump on into this project, it is gonna be a monster project that I have to split into two parts because it is just a huge undertaking. But anyway, talking about this project in general, so here is what the deck looked like when we bought the house. And honestly, there's not much wrong with it structurally. There definitely is some rot. I'm not entirely sure when they built this deck. Also, it's not really our style and I do want a little bit more privacy on the deck because you can see lots of neighbors right now because our baby trees are clearly not fully grown in yet. Eventually they will be like 30 feet tall and you won't see anybody. But for now, we have been just craving a little oasis in this backyard, which is why I am redoing this deck. So in terms of actually starting this project, as you can see, the deck has become a little bit of a catch-all for some of the construction junk from the kitchen reno. Yes, I'm still working on the reno. I'm working as fast as I can on it. I cannot wait to share updates about that with you. But let's focus on this deck. Once that was cleared out, it was time to start demoing and I started with the railings. This has seen better days. Oh well, makes my job easier. I just demoed that whole side of my deck and uh, forgot to press record. Welcome to the Sam Show. So putting aside the fact that I'm literally a hot mess, um, let's talk real quick about the structure of the deck. I mentioned some rot earlier. Pretty much every single one of these spindles on the deck railings were rotted out. So it's kind of great that I'm replacing them because I'm not sure how long they would have actually been able to exist, to be quite honest. Um, also, I did find some rot on the stairs, but we will tackle that a little bit later. For now, I'm just focusing on demoing the railings as well as the lattice. For the most part, I was able to demo most of the railings using my sawzall and a hammer. I'm going to tell you, whoever built this deck before me, kudos to you because they put so many nails in this thing. It was kind of difficult to get some of these posts off of the deck. So in terms of design and ideas for this project I wanted to salvage as much of the structure as the deck as I could that meant like the main boards and obviously like the posts and I really wanted to salvage the stairs as well although that plan changed pretty quickly into my demo process because I had discovered some rot that I didn't think was actually there but for the most part I really just wanted to replace the lattice and the rotted out railings and rebuild them with something modern and cool and I cannot wait to show you those ideas so so soon. Houston, we have a problem. All right, so I just removed the posts from the bottom of this deck and all of this here, this is all rot. It's like still wet from the inside of the posts. So as I was looking a little closer, I realized not just the post is rotted, but the actual step itself is rotted here. It's kind of hard to see with the shadows. You can see a little better on this side. Hold on. So see that hole in my step? I can stick my finger in all the way in there. So this is completely rotted, which means that I now need to replace the steps. Ew, there's literally a worm in there that I just touched. Disgusting. Um, so I need to replace this whole situation here, which kind of sucks. But we were going to move these stairs over anyway, because it really kind of annoys us that they're not centered on the deck. So since we're moving those over anyway, I guess I'm just going to get rid of these and we're going to start fresh. So for now, I'm going to keep them because I need steps while I'm working on the deck. I'm going to remove the two posts up top. 
And then after I'm done like stripping the deck today, I'm gonna head to Home Depot tomorrow and buy new stringers and create new stairs here, right? Yes, that's how I'm holding my phone to record my stuff for social media because I 100% broke my tripod. Great. All right, cool. Well, all I have to do is remove this these posts and then we're going to head to Home Depot and pick up the equipment that I rented to strip this deck. Yay! So yeah, demo is done. I'm definitely tired, but I'm happy that I was able to get all of that done. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. So I guess it's like one of those times that I'm actually not mad about having, you know, not the best craftsmanship on a project in my house. So now that demo is done, I am going to head over to Home Depot where I rented a sander and a pressure washer for the day for tomorrow so that I can strip the paint off this deck. Our hope is that we're gonna be able to stain it so I want it to look really good. Last time that I did a project like this, I was able to do the whole thing in literally two days. This is a little different because I did add a day for a demo. So if you're not demoing your deck, you definitely could refinish it in two days. So yeah, so my goal is stripping, sanding this deck tomorrow and then Monday, because I have a three day weekend from work right now, I'm going to stain it and then also paint the frame because I have an idea for what I want to do for when I rebuild this deck in the next video. So I'm not going to have to restain the whole thing. I guess the other thing I have to do now is buy new stairs since these are all rotted out, but it's okay. At least they're going to be done the right way, right? So, okay. I'm tired. I need coffee. I need Sour Patch Kids. I need lots and lots of snacks. I probably should actually add dinner to that laundry list of things I need today. I definitely need a shower. And then I need to go to Home Depot and pick up my equipment before they close. So yeah, I have a lot to do. So uh, I think I'm gonna go do it. Let's go. <laughs> I don't wanna move. I have to move, I have things to do. Okay. Ooh, God, everything hurts. Okay, so last time I refinished a deck, the one thing that I wished I had was a big sander instead of just like that little random orbital sander. So I actually decided that I'm going to rent one because obviously I would love to own one, but they're huge and I have no place to put one and they're also an investment. So I'm renting one from the Home Depot for the next day or two. I'm probably just gonna keep it for two days just in case I don't finish what I need to today. I'm also gonna be renting a power washer because I haven't had a chance to purchase one yet for the house since we like didn't really need one in our studio apartment, if you know what I mean. Um, so I'm gonna go get the sander and the power washer from the Home Depot. I was able to reserve both of those tools online the other day, which is great because that means they're definitely gonna have them for me. And I'm gonna get them loaded on up into my truck back to the deck and then we're gonna get started first thing in the morning. Let's go take a field trip to the Home Depot Tool Rental Center and then let's get back to this build. Welcome to the magical world of the Home Depot Tool Rental Center. Let's go inside. This place is the next level kind of magic. They literally have everything. Welders, nailers, saws. It's right here for the sanders today and lots and lots of accessories which is awesome it's kind of fun getting to like shop for something that you're just kind of borrowing so i already made a reservation for my tool online so they are going to be able to quickly grab it for me and help me get into my truck and then we're going to get back to our project let's do this friends so like I mentioned, I was able to rent a power washer and a deck sander from the Home Depot via the Home Depot rental. And I was so excited about renting these tools because A, I don't have either one of them and B, I also don't have the space to keep either one of them, but I needed both of them for this project. So the fact that I was able to basically just borrow them for a couple days was pretty awesome. Even better, I was able to reserve them for the exact weekend and the exact amount of time that I needed them for no questions asked, no problem. I just walked in and was like, hey guys, I have a reservation. And they were like, no problem fam, we got you. And then they helped me load everything into my truck. Now, once I got those tools back on over to the house, it was time to prep for the first portion of this refinishing project. And that was stripping the paint off of this deck. So for this, I used a wood stain and finish stripper. I first had to make the boards damp with my power washer and then I poured on an ample amount of this wood stripper 
scrubbed it in with a brush, kept it damp so that it could actually work, and I kind of just let it sit and do a little bit of magic before power washing it off of the deck boards. Not gonna lie, the chemicals in this paint stripper were kind of gnarly, so I made sure to cover anything I did not want to get it on, so just keep that in mind if it's something that you want to try in the future. All right, here we are. I don't know what I was expecting. I don't know why I was expecting some like magic fix with that deck paint stripper thing, but I don't know, it didn't do what I thought it was gonna do. I mean, as you can see, like it definitely stripped some of the paint off, but like the power washer did most of that. And I really couldn't get too close because if I did, I didn't want to do like irreparable damage to the deck boards. You can see like they're already kind of fuzzy, which means I probably pushed the pressure washer a little too hard. But here we are. So yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna have to come in with the sander and work some magic. And you all know how I feel about sanding. It's not great. So basically tomorrow is probably gonna be the worst day ever. But my hope is that we'll get these boards looking as good as new tomorrow. So gonna let this dry overnight and start fresh in the morning. That's all I got friends. See you then, bye. Well, I already started today off two errors deep. Error number one, I decided to sleep in like an extra hour. That was a terrible idea because now it is so hot outside and I have to sand this entire deck. So that's number one. Number two, I decided to do this introduction while my neighbor is so eloquently weed whacking his front lawn. So I hope that you can hear me, but it is about to get so hot outside and I want to get started on this before it gets too hot. So I'm going to just like skip a bunch of levels, sunscreen all the way up to a hundred, get the sander and get moving and really hope that it does some miracle working on this deck because looking at this deck is not making my heart happy right now. I hope to have a happy heart by the end of this day. It's getting sunny and warm. I'm going to go sunscreen up and we're going to go sand. Let's go. So not gonna lie, no offense to the power washer of the tool tools that I rented from the Home Depot rental, I was mostly excited about this deck sander because this thing is really cool. So on top of renting the sander, I also rented this really cool finishing pad that helps to contour the sander to the boards. And I also rented a whole bunch of different grits of sandpaper and was able to go back and forth as many times as I needed to get more sandpaper. I also got a dust bag as well so that it collected most of the dust as I sanded the outside of my house. I think this thing was supposed to come with a zip tie. Honestly, I probably lost it. So I did just tape it to the back of the sander and that worked out really well. So that's the wear hearing protection and nothing protects hearing better than a good true crime podcast. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like really intimidated by this thing. I'm kind of nervous to press the power button on this. What if it just like launches forward into the house? Like in the movies, like super fast. I don't know, okay. Here goes nothing, I'm really nervous. Spoiler alert, I did not launch into my house. I'm such a drama queen. This thing was actually so easy to use. Now let's try something out. It comes with a weight that I could put on. All right, let's see. So one thing that was really helpful was that this unit came with a weight that you can stick on the front for like more aggressive sanding, which was definitely necessary for this project. It's really hard to film on sunny days because the sun is either too intense or not intense enough. So couple things, it's definitely doing something like this is really smooth actually, but it's not taking the paint up the way that I wish it was taking the paint up. So I think I'm gonna go head back to Home Depot and go grab more abrasive. This is 80 grit. I think I need like 60 grit. I may even mess around with 40 just to see if I can pull some of this paint up. If I can't, it would really suck. It wouldn't be the end of the world because then I can just actually paint the deck. But the idea was that I wanted to be able to restore the original wood and stain it. So we'll see. I'm not gonna get my hopes up too much, but I'm also not gonna get too bummed out. Let's go see what happens if I uh, go grab a different grit. Be right back. So yeah, I really wanted to be able to strip this deck completely down to bare wood, but it just wasn't gonna happen. I mean, I don't know how long this paint has been on this deck for. It was sticking really well. This sander was honestly a true champ and was getting through a ton, a ton of the paint, but I was not able to get all of it up. The good news though, is that I was able to sand this thing super smooth. So I was able to then come back the next day to start the staining process. And I did end up just going with a solid stain and it stuck really well and ended up looking so beautiful. 
But anyway, totally getting ahead of myself. Once I was done using the sander and the power washer, I got them back on in my truck, drove them over to Home Depot and returned them. And honestly, such a successful weekend. I'm gonna rent so many more tools in the future because it was so nice to be able to just borrow them for a little bit, give them back, and then know that I can borrow them if I ever need them again. So remember at the beginning of this video, when I believe I said something like, I'm gonna learn from the mistakes I made the last time that I refinished a deck. Yeah, I wish I took my own advice because I basically waited too long to take these off. I basically made any excuse in the book to do it. And now every single day for the foreseeable future is gonna be 90 degrees outside. I hate the summer. I hate these stupid stairs, but they gotta come down because I'm getting sod put in tomorrow and the stairs gotta go so I can get some grass put in. So let's do it. Before I could really, really start the staining process, I did have to finally remove these stairs and they were installed a little too well, so I had to cut them up into sections in order to get rid of them. But I procrastinated on this for so long and it literally took me 15 minutes. I don't know why I waited so long to do this. But once those stairs were done, it was finally time to paint or stain in a solid color stain or paint, whatever you want to use, the deck. Friends, let me show you something. Hold on, one second. Do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? Look at that sky. Ugh. I literally just woke up to the most perfect, overcast, cloudy day that a girl painting her deck in the middle of the summer could only dream of. This is amazing. I don't think it's gonna stay this cloudy all day though. So I'm gonna get a move on because today is deck painting day and I'm like still, I can't believe this is what's been gifted to me. Now I won't roast in the sun when I'm painting this deck today like I did the first time I painted a deck. So, okay, I'm gonna get a move on because I don't think it's gonna stay like this all day. I'm gonna go cover all of the things in my yard that I don't want to get paint on because I'm using my sprayer today. And then we're gonna get started on painting this deck. Oh, it's gonna be a good day, friends. It's gonna be a good day. It's been about 45 minutes and so far all I've managed to do is make my house look like a crime scene. But we are ready for painting. Let's go. So shameless plug, if you would like to know how to paint or stain a deck and refinish it in one weekend, I actually have an entire video on that on my channel so definitely go check that out. But I started my day by making sure there was no debris on my deck and then next up I actually opted to roll the first layer of stain onto my boards. The reason I did this is because I wanted to kind of get more of like a thicker even coat laid down. I did end up spraying the second coat though which you will see in a little bit. The first time I refinished a deck, I did spray both coats and that worked well too, but because there was still so much kind of like leftover paint, I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't missing anything and rolling on the first coat, I was able to really get a nice even finish to begin with, if that makes sense. Well, I don't know when my camera decided to stop recording, but it did. So here's where we are after that first roll coat. It's been about an hour-ish, it's gotten pretty hot outside. This is dry, but as you can see, the roller doesn't get into all of like the nooks and crannies. So for the next coat or two, I think I'm gonna do two, I'm going to spray into all the nooks and crannies, but it is nice to have a little bit of a base coat here because now I don't have to worry about missing any spots. So let's do it. I honestly love using the sprayer to spray deck boards because it really gets into all of the little nooks and crannies on the deck. Best part is, talk about tool rentals, if you don't have a sprayer, you can easily rent one from the Home Depot for a project like this. So of course, no project I do ever goes smoothly, right? And I ran out of stain or enough stain to spray. So I'm gonna see if I could get away with brushing the rest of the stain into the grooves. Wish me luck. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough. You have to go to Home Depot. Whew. It's gonna be worth it, Sam. It's gonna be worth it. You keep telling yourself it's just gonna be worth it. Ugh. It's not a project unless you go to Home Depot twice in one day, right? So I'm not really sure what I did here, but I guess I lost the footage of me painting the bottom portion of the deck. So yes, once I was done staining those top boards, 
I then came back in with some black deck stain and stained the bottom of the deck and all of those supports with a black deck stain. This is going to make sense when I start rebuilding the bottom of this deck. Once that was done, I then installed my new staircase. Although don't do what I did here. Those brackets need to face the inside of the staircase. I realized that after I installed them because if they face the outside, then it's hard to actually cover them up with boards later. So I did end up flipping them around and then all of those stringer supports faced the inside of the staircase. Once those were installed though, I also made sure to install a board on the bottom of the staircase that connected directly into the stone below it so that the staircase was anchored. And here's that proof of me painting the bottom of the deck with black deck stain because I matched the stringers to the bottom of the deck. So now is the fun part where I show you my idea for the bottom of the deck. Do you know I actually was going to end this video after installing the stairs, but it just didn't look right to me to not include this portion of the project. I figured let's finish up the bottom of this deck for part one and then part two we can focus on the top of the deck. So yes, I used a bunch of pressure treated boards to make this really cool like horizontal modern looking enclosure for the bottom of my deck. And this was definitely a challenge to do by myself, but it, honestly, all of the hard work was worth it. I think personally, it looks pretty cool. It's too hot for happy dances. It's getting dark out, but I like adamantly refuse to call it a night until I finish these last five rows of boards. Maybe not all five, definitely four, because I still have to dig a little trench here and I think it's gonna get too dark to see what I'm doing, but it's gonna happen. Like this has to get done. Also, I should have thought about this beforehand. I made a little bumper here so that I know exactly where to bump my board up to and I'm not guessing, but all right, boards are cut. Let's get these puppies on here and then clean up, eat dinner, call it a night. That sounds like a plan. I'm tired. champion friends all right all right I'll clean up now see you tomorrow friends good morning friends okay so i lied i really was not cool with going inside and calling it a day yesterday until i added that bottom that guy right there is bothering me so much see how it's bowing out like that just super super warped so i might replace that guy unless i can figure out a way to suck it in but anyway that's just Another project for another time. Okay, so today is going to be stair day. My goal is to carry this whole thing around to the stairs. And then I want to get actual steps in so I can use these stairs like a normal human being. Very ambitious to-do list today, but this is my goal because my other goal is to get started on the top of the deck soon. And I can't do that till the bottom of the deck is done. So. That's what's happening. Lots to do. Let's get started. All right, friends, so we're getting towards the end of this video. So to finish out this portion of the video, I wanted to kind of just like close up those stairs. And I did that by matching those same horizontal boards all the way across the stairs as well. I cut out any of the steps using my jigsaw and my sander to make sure that everything was super flush and super neat. Also, just a side note, but I'm sure you saw in the last little thing that I did on camera, at this point, all of my patio furniture had arrived, which was like great because it's here, but also not so great because I waited a pretty long time to be able to get the quantity of lumber that I actually needed for this project. There are just a lot of supply chain issues happening right now. So the patio furniture arrived before the lumber arrived. So I am pretty much on a time crunch right now to get everything done so that I can finally get our gorgeous patio set up on this deck and share that with all of you. But in the spirit of still focusing on one thing at a time and not getting ahead of myself like I so usually do, before I can even think about finishing the top of the deck, I need to finish the bottom of the deck. So at this point, I cut the stair risers for the stringers using some 1x12 boards and my circular saw, and then I attach them to those stringers using some wood screws. Thank you. 
And once those steps were finally installed, it was time to do a little bit of a strength test, AKA me pretending like I am the lead in a musical and making my grand entrance just because. I also custom cut some pieces to fit on the front of the stairs as well to close up the entire staircase and to make it look super neat. At this point though, this bottom half of this project was done and I cannot wait to show you what it looks like. Okay, check, check, check. I'm showered, I'm miked, and I'm ready to hang out with everyone. <sighs> I don't even know where to begin. I'm so tired. So this entire process of like refinishing the top of the deck and demoing and rebuilding the stairs and all of this has taken collectively, I think, like five full days out here by myself. So I'm definitely tired. I'm definitely sunburned. Pretty sure I'm dehydrated. So I'm gonna need some time to recover for a little bit after this. But the good news is, is that I have a special guest coming to help with the top portion of this project this weekend, which will be really nice to have another set of hands because I think we're gonna be able to finish that pretty quickly with two people. But overall, I'm really happy with the progress on this deck. There are definitely a couple of things like when I step back and look at the project as a whole that are driving me like a little up the wall but I also know nobody else is probably going to notice that and a lot of them are just like me seeing things or boards warping because they've been out here for a little bit and I have to like fix some of the spacing but I'm not going to obsess I'm going to just move on to the next chapter of this project because when I begin to obsess is when projects start taking way longer than they need to take as a whole though I'm so happy with the progress on this deck I think personally so far it looks awesome I'm also like a little biased but you know um, and I can't wait to see the entire thing come to life. Anyway, now that part one, which is like the bottom half of the deck makeover is done, next up is to focus on part two, which is the top half of the deck makeover. And that will definitely be the next video on my channel. So please make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so that you don't miss the full reveal of this deck makeover. I know it's not done yet, like talking to you, but in my brain, I feel like it looks really cool. So I can't wait to see it done probably as much as you can't wait to see it done, but we'll get there when we get there. So I'm really excited to take a couple days to work on some interior projects and let my body recover from this project and then to get back on it this weekend and share that progress with you soon. But until then, friends, happy DIY.